we're doing another clean uh, up at the coast here at Little Island. Um, again, down in Lower Courtstown, and we have some people further around by the treatment plant. Um, and we're picking up the litter and where possible we're trying to separate some of it out so that it can go to be recycled rather than going to landfill. And this has been organised uh, by Cork um, Nature Network, Cork Environmental Forum and I've been involved in somewhat. And of course we've been supported by the Green Party who have come out in, in, in numbers to uh, help this event by clearing up the litter um, on the beach. Now a lot of the litter here has washed in, I've been talking to the locals and this is the fourth or fifth litter pickup they have had this year. Mostly plastic bottles, we're finding bits of metal, we're finding um, um, cotton buds, uh, ends of cotton buds, um, and, and just general plastics. I mean there isn't much other materials, we're finding a few bits of metal and, and a few bits of concrete and glass bottles, but really mostly plastic is what we're finding. Cork is a har natural harbour and it's, it's just like a, a drain on the area and where people are washing stuff onto the, the coastline and this is why they're having to clear it so often. Um, we are picking up uh, some litter off this beach. We're doing a coast clean because um, as you can see um, we're on a lovely stretch of the coast here. Um, unfortunately there's a lot of plastic waste um, on this uh, coastline um, and it doesn't seem as though there's very much preventative work being done to prevent um, all this litter from happening. Well mostly what I found today was this. Um, so this is the plastic section of a cotton bud um, and obviously um, these are getting flushed and um, these are ending up um, washing up on the coast. So obviously this is quite a small and light piece of plastic so it's all over the place and it's actually quite labour intensive to remove them. Um, and kind of the thing that's annoying me about these today is that the UK has actually banned these um, from being put into production and there are alternatives that aren't plastic and yet nothing is actually being done here. Um, you know, a again, it's an issue of there's plastics ending up in our oceans and on our beaches. They're going back into the food chain. Like if this is allowed to um, continue um, in the ocean, what will happen is that it'll turn into smaller and smaller pieces of plastic through attrition um, and it'll end up being ingested by fish. Um, there's lots of plastic free alternatives that people can use. Um, and, you know, there, there's a lot of ways that you can reduce the amount of plastic that you are using. So the first thing really is to reduce the amount of plastic that you're using if you can. Lobby um, our politicians to um, ban these at source and stop them from going into production in the first place to make it easier for people and make it cheaper for people. Um, and then after that, um, you know, if you are, if you do have to use these, like, please dispose them properly so that they don't end up on the beach. Um, there was about, I think, between 40 and 50 people. Well, some people had like the gloves and some people had the litter pickers and you know, just kind of collecting stuff and separating them if possible. So putting like plastic bottles and glass bottles separate so they can take them home to be recycled. Mostly plastic kind of bottles, a lot of bottles and glass bottles and cans and kind of, yeah, like um, cotton buds, like the, the middles of that and then straws and stuff like plastic. It's washing in from the... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, we're just cleaning up here on Courtstown Beach in Little Island. Um, just litter picking. It's amazing how much litter there is here. There's huge amounts, all sorts of things. It just, we, you know, we live in such a wasteful society. We chuck everything away. This is the remains of a mattress that somebody checked away now. Um, there's loads of, I've got a bag here full of little, little sticks which have come from cotton buds. Loads of them, hundreds of them, you know. We've got to just get to get plastics, get rid of plastics, and we've got to be a lot more careful about everything else. Single use plastics should be gone, you know, we should be banning them. The UK are looking at doing it now, things like cotton buds, straws, all of these things, just stop making them out of plastic. You know, the, the current government are blocking the Green Party's proposal. Uh, we have a waste reduction bill in front of the Oireachtas and the Fine Gael aren't going there with us, you know, to bring in things like a deposit refund scheme for plastic bottles. There's loads of them here, hundreds of them, all sorts of bits and pieces. Got rid of single-use plastics out of our society. Polystyrene as well. There's polystyrene all over the place. Get rid of it. There's no need for it as a packing material. There's loads of options. You can use cardboard, you can use paper, you can use all sorts of 
um, there's now biodegradable sort of all, uh, plant-based versions of polystyrene and things. Get rid of it. It doesn't. It, it it'll be here for hundreds of years, and it's killing the fish in our seas. It's you know they found it up in the Antarctic now, miles, thousands of miles away from the nearest people, and yet the pollution is spreading everywhere around our planet. We've just got to get rid of it. We've got to get a lot tidier. The government have to step up. Our government are not stepping up to this at all. You know, even the Tories in the UK seem to be doing it better than our guys. And so we've just really got to get going a lot more with take this stuff seriously, you know.